Hello viewer, welcome to our today's lesson. It's always a pleasure to take you through English. Today we're going to talk about verbs. Specifically, we're going to talk about modal auxiliaries. Previously, we've talked about primary auxiliaries. Uh, so we're going to talk about modal auxiliaries. Before we start a lesson, I'd kindly request you to talk to us. Write to us, you can contact us through our Facebook page or through our Twitter handle. Our Facebook page is Elimu TV and our Twitter handle is at Elimu underscore KE. I am your English teacher, Sally Nguare. Welcome. So today, I've said we're going to talk about modal auxiliaries since we've talked about primary auxiliaries. And if we could start by tabling our objectives, uh, we expect that by the end of this lesson, viewer, you'll be able to define verbs or you'll be able to say what verbs are. You'll be able to give examples of verbs. You'll be able to define modal auxiliaries. You're going to talk, uh, to identify modal auxiliary verbs from sentences. And number five, you will be able to use the correct form of modal auxiliaries verbs in sentences uh, that you write or that you speak. So maybe to introduce our lesson, we should uh, have a recap of uh, what verbs are. And uh, we keep saying that verbs are action words or words that show the state of being any word that denotes an action, including sleeping, since sleeping is also an action that is a verb. Again, any verb that shows the state of being is a verb. Let us look at examples of verbs in sentences. Number one. Judy is a bright girl. Is is a verb. Why? It may not uh, maybe show an action, but it shows the state of being. Number two, he must have escaped through the window. We have escaped as the main verb in that sentence. If we could talk about all of the verbs in that sentence, we have three of them. We have must, have, and escaped. But maybe since this is an introduction, let us talk about escaped through a window. So that is a word that shows an action. Number three, we have most schools open today. So open in that sentence is the verb. And uh, auxiliary verbs can be primary or modal auxiliaries. So uh, maybe to, to go back to our lesson when we talked about auxiliary verbs, in case you missed that lesson, we said that auxiliary verbs are helping verbs. To go back to our previous slide, we have an example of number two, the example number two, he must have escaped through the window. Must have escaped is a verbal phrase. Escaped is the main verb. But again, we have these other two verbs that are helping us know maybe the tense or uh, the the opinion of the speaker about the person who escaped through. These two verbs are what you're calling auxiliary verbs. They could be referred to as helping verbs because they always come along the main verb. Otherwise, if we didn't have a main verb in that sentence, then it would be incomplete. If we said he must have through the window, then it wouldn't have a complete meaning. That is why you're saying that auxiliary verbs do not appear by themselves. They are always accompanying a main verb and their purpose is either to express the opinion of the speaker or to show the tense or the time that the main verb took place. So, we say that auxiliary verbs are helping verbs, and in that case, we have must and have being helping verbs that are accompanying the main verb of the sentence escaped. So when we talk about auxiliary verbs or when we talk about helping verbs, we could either have primary auxiliary verbs, 
and we could have modal auxiliary verbs remember we also talked about prim- uh, primary auxiliary verbs that was in our previous lesson and uh, we said that primary auxiliary verbs are verbs such as is and be and have what about modal auxiliary verbs we say that modal auxiliaries are verbs that reveal the attitude of the speaker of course towards whatever he or she is talking about the attitude may express certainty doubt command necessity permission prohibition and requ- we are saying that modal auxiliaries will help the speaker maybe express certain doubt command necessity permission prohibition and request english models include the following can could may might shall should will would must and ought maybe we have others but uh do you going to talk about uh these ones and how do they appear or how do speakers express their opinion using these models so we'll have a table showing us the model the meaning and of course giving us an example in a sentence let us look at the model can so whenever we want to use the model can then that model should always be used to show ability if you can be able to or if you are able to then the model to use to show ability is can yeah if you can finish a plate of ugali then the model to show ability is can for example in a sentence a camel can go for days without food a camel can go for days without food it shows ability a camel is able to go for days without food next we have cooled this means past ability and we shall look at and as we shall see as we continue we shall also say that cooled can also be used to express a request but as per now to show past ability She could walk from her home to the nearby town to sell oranges that was in the past but not now. Next we have may and may means permission. If you want to borrow permission from your teacher, from your employer or from anyone else, then you can use the model may. For example, if you want to tell maybe that person next to you to pass you the salt in case you're in a dining uh maybe room you could say oh, okay may is used to show permission so in an example we have you may leave in the afternoon that means that you have been granted the permission to leave in the afternoon you may leave it at the doorstep you've been granted permission to leave whatever it is at the doorstep and that is the use of the modal may we have the modal might it shows possibility example in a sentence it might rain in the afternoon be sure to carry an umbrella we have shall it shows an offer shall we have dinner someone requesting another person to have dinner with him or her shall you close the window or shall you shut the window it's a request or uh an offer next we have should should in most cases shows advice for example I'll be, I'll be advising you to learn on elimu tv we have will and will shows future possibility for example i will leave for Nairobi tomorrow we have another modal auxiliary that is would and would shows past ability for example in a sentence when new the car would cover many kilometers with a few liters of fuel so would shows past ability 
when the car was new that must have been some time ago we have the model must and it shows obligation and if it's an obligation you know then you they then know that it is compulsory you must not litter our city you must not uh break the law corruption in our country must stop generally must shows obligation it's uh, it also shows some uh, some level of command that whatever is being told or whatever is being said to you uh, is compulsory you don't have a choice next we have ought and it shows future or could say uh what you should do in the future for example you ought to wake up early you ought to love your neighbor you ought to take your studies seriously you ought to learn on elimu tv and so far or so on next we have used to it shows past position used to in the past for example Angel used to beat everyone in mathematics that was long time ago or not or, or even if not long it is the past not present for example we could say we used to have or president or authority moi used to used to be the president of Kenya or any other past event or past person you could refer to that as or you could refer to that using the model used to next we have need need shows necessity an example in a sentence i need to add some sugar to my coffee i need to leave early in the morning i need to put on warm clothes and so on next we have dare and uh, whenever this is used it shows a challenge I wouldn't dare tell a lie to my mom and that is true. I wouldn't dare throw a stone at a beehive because you know what would follow. I wouldn't dare uh beat up my sibling or anything else that you wouldn't dare. Then you can put that as your example. And uh having looked at modal auxiliaries, I leave you with some work. And the assignment for today is uh construct at least 10 sentences using modal auxiliaries studied in this lesson. Construct at least 10 sentences using the modal auxiliaries studied in this lesson. In case you didn't have a pen or you didn't note uh the modal auxiliaries we studied, we have might to show possibility, shall shows offers should advise will a uh, future possibility uh can means ability could could be past ability and may shows permission we also have would past ability must means obligation ought and in most cases it's ought to it shows future maybe future responsibility you also have used to past position we have need should necessity and we have dare uh, maybe posing a challenge so those are the the models that maybe you'd be expected to use during your construction of 10 sentences kindly remember to make them appropriate so that they are grammatically correct uh and before i exit i'd still request you to contact us uh, our facebook page is elimu tv and our twitter handle is at elimu underscore ke uh, it's always a pleasure to teach you keep it elimu tv where you watch and learn my name is salingware till next time